Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Hasrat. In today's video, I'm going to talk about why isolation can be dangerous and how it can inhibit your growth and overall well-being. I just want to say that by isolating yourself, you're not doing yourself any favors and I'll tell you why. I'm making this video especially for people who are introverts and those who have had some experiences in the past and those experiences have led them to believe that isolation is a better way to live. Now you must have heard that your network is your net worth and that is especially true in today's world be it in the corporate world or in the creative fields who you know actually is more important than what you know. So if you are for whatever reason isolating yourself then please know that you're also isolating yourself from opportunities. The opportunities that can eventually lead you to live your best life. We have all had bad experiences with people. It's sad but we've all been backstabbed by people who we thought were our friends. So if you've had some bad experiences with people then please know that you're not alone. You might think that you're keeping yourself in a very safe mental space by isolating yourself but if you think about it by isolating yourself you're also cutting yourself off from the knowledge on which your life depends and that is the knowledge that you can only gain by having multiple experiences with people. Now I understand that not everybody you meet in your day-to-day -day life will end up becoming your friend. There might be some people whom you meet up with once in your life and then right after some time you decide that this person is someone who I'm never gonna see in my life again or at least I hope that I'm never gonna see this person in my life again and that is okay. You don't have to like everybody you meet but the important point here is that you need to keep yourself open to meeting new people so that you can have new experiences and eventually learn from them. I've seen people who are very quick to make friends can open up easily in groups. They are never shy to talk about themselves in public and people find it very easy to open up with them because they are very confident and comfortable in their own space. Now if that's the case with you then you are already on a great path but for those of you who struggle to open up and talk to other people please know that it's never too late to expand your circle. I personally feel a lot more confident and uh, stable mentally whenever I'm around people who I can trust and I can rise more because in my in the back of my head I'm not thinking too much I'm not second guessing myself the only way to teach yourself to be people friendly is to put yourself out there to get out of your house step out of your comfort zone and start having conversations with new people isolation is also dangerous on a mental level because just living with yourself and your thoughts may sound very romantic but it actually leads to depression humans always need humans. By expanding your circle, I do not suggest that you always surround yourself with people because that is a sign of low self-esteem. It's great if you are okay with living by yourself, but you have to encourage yourself to put yourself out there to let people know what you are, who you are, what you want to do and find people who can help you reach your goals in life. Also keep in mind that you can find your community better when you know yourself in a better way. When you've spent some time in understanding what you want and what your goals are in life and then genuinely try to be around people who have either already achieved what you want to achieve in life or they are on the same path as yourself. I still believe and I've spoken about this in my previous videos that self-help is the best help. However, I do not in any way shape or form suggest that you keep yourself isolated from people. If you isolate yourself then you'll never be able to understand other people's perspective about you. Then you don't get a chance to improve. By being with other people you get to open yourself to new perspectives, new ideas and gain more knowledge about the world around you and I cannot stress this enough that people management is one of the most useful skills to have out there. Having some time for yourself and being independent are two great things. However, we all need to network in order to grow professionally. Also, in many professions, being out of sight is synonymous to being out of mind and if people are not even thinking about you and your brand and your business and your goals, then how the hell are 
are you going to grow also you need to understand that not everybody needs to be your friend people don't have to be nice to you however even if some of the experiences that you'll have would be bad i still recommend that it's worth taking the risk because you never know who will step into your life and change it for the better maybe in the past you have dealt with very negative people or the kind of people who have been jealous from you or have stolen from you in terms of opportunities or literally stolen from you but that does not mean that you have to limit yourself and live in your past traumas your life is happening now whether you like it or not it is passing by and it's your choice whether you want to live in your past or you want to grab the opportunities that are coming your way in the present so that you can build a good future for yourself i have noticed that when you are in the process of finding your people and building new connections then sometimes it gets very easy for you to become a people pleaser and that is when you have to be very very cautious because by portraying the qualities that you don't have you're only going to betray other people and make very negative and bitter connections that are only going to lead to bad experiences so if you want to avoid bad experiences with people then please start being more honest in your approach towards people so that they know who they are talking to and i think we all deserve to know who we are talking to and who we are dealing with the more honest you are with yourself and others the better are the chances of you finding your troop also while you are in the process of building your network just know that it's not your responsibility to please anyone it's your responsibility however to be respectful to each and every one and not be super judgmental because sometimes our preconceived notions about people or communities end up limiting our opportunities and we end up losing some valuable contacts it's true that not everybody is going to be worth your time so you need to be able to be a good judge of character but that does not happen overnight so you need to be open to meeting more and more people each day and eventually you'll get to a point where just after spending a few minutes or hours with someone you'll know whether you need to keep a long term contact with them or not and that is always for you to decide so i'm going to end this video at this note that your network is your net worth and the sooner you understand this the better it's going to be for you be it personally or professionally you need people and you need people who are honest with you and understand you and are there for you when you fall down over here the quantity of people you know does not matter but the quality of people you have in your life will shape your life for the good or bad open yourself up a little bit and don't be afraid of the experiences that are going to come your way so stop isolating yourself and get yourself out there i hope you all find your people and let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this video and what sort of content would you like me to make in the future on this channel i post videos about personal development so if you like this content so far then please subscribe for more and i'll see you in my next one thank you